Hey you guys, so today I'm here for the first video of my four part back to school series and I'm really really excited to do this. Um, it is kind of deviating from the booktube that I usually do but don't worry after this series is over I will be doing a huge book haul over like the last three or four months. So there are going to be a lot of books in that. So I'm really excited to do that for you guys but first four part let me explain basically I'm gonna be doing four different videos so the first video which is this one is gonna be what is in my pencil pouch and this is basically exactly what I take to school with me utensils wise and it's my pencil pouch what I keep in it all that stuff and so this is basically my school supplies haul part one what I keep in my pencil pouch these are things I have bought for school including the pencil pouch then I will be doing a school supplies haul part two where I, where I show you like utensils I keep at home and things that I keep as backups and then a couple other things. Then my school supplies haul part three which will be more notebook folder that type of thing oriented. Um, I wanted to kind of separate these or else it would have been like 40 minute long haul. And then my last video will be what I keep in my school bag. So those are just essentials that I have to have with me. Anyone who knows me knows that I have pretty much everything in my backpack. I need to have things in case of emergencies. I cannot relax if I don't have things. Before I get started with the pencil pouch haul type video I just want to show you two things number one I got a haircut um I adore it I haven't loved a haircut this much in a really 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 long time and I got highlights and they blend in with my natural ones because I have natural highlights but I don't know I like to get more because they're pretty and I just love it so much and number two my friend finally gave me my Christmas present which was a book which I'll be hauling in that book haul I talked about but also she gave me this shirt and it says, I like big books and I cannot lie. And I adore this shirt. I think it's hilarious. And I decided why not wear it? Because gotta keep this channel a little bit about books, you know? So let's just get started. I'm going to show you the pencil case I have first. And that's this one. I got it from Staples. I don't know the brand. I totally forgot. I ripped off the tag. Oh, wait. I found it. Studio C. So this brand is Studio C. So look it up if you like this pencil case. And the reason I like this one, I've never had one like this before. Um, the flowers aren't really my style. They're cute. They're definitely cute. And I love the color combination, but it's not, not really my style. However, I love the inside and it has three pockets. So it has this one this one that zips up and this one I love that because I like to keep my things organized and now I can in this handy dandy pencil couch pencil couch now I can in this handy dandy handy dandle what am I saying and now I can in this handy dandy pencil pouch so let's just get started okay so the first things I keep in here are my pens and I adore these pens these are the only brands of pens I like to use I very rarely use any other brand and that is Papermate the profile pens and let me show you what these look like so these are clicky pens and they have this kind of like indent right here so that when you write your fingers kind of work with the pen and I adore these and I got the 12 pack of colors I also got more black and blue pens um of this brand but I love to get the fun colors because they're beautiful I'm just going to show them to you really quickly here can you see them can you see all the pretty colors I'm awful at this so these are just really fun and I highly recommend these I know that you can get four packs of the blue and four packs of the black for three dollars at Staples right now at least that's how I got a lot of pens that I'm going to show you in my part two school supplies haul and I love 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 these pens can't recommend them more I don't like to use any other type of pen unless I absolutely have to the next things I like to keep in my pencil pouch are sharpies and I have way more colors than this however I like to keep a black and a blue one for necessity in there because you never know when you're gonna have to label something or just use a sharpie or doodle on your friend's arm when during your free you know why not can you tell I'm in high school obviously not the next things I keep in here are highlighters and I have four colors and I do have other other highlighters in this that I keep in my backpack that are um my favorite of all time however 
I go to Costco to buy a lot of my utensils. I highly recommend checking out your Costco and also I think Sam's Club is very similar to Costco. If you have a Sam's Club you might want to check it out. I don't know if they're the same though. But Costco has these awesome value packs where you get like pens and pencils and erasers and lead and they come in this little cardboard thing and you get a ton of stuff for a really really good price so I recommend checking that out because that's where I get a lot of my school supplies and that's how I know I'm set when I go and buy that and then I open it and it makes me so happy so these came in there that's why I have these and that's my excuse for why I also buy other sharpies because I love I love sharpie highlighters but I have a favorite I have a favorite sharpie highlighter that you will see in my part two. And then I have pencils which are the Pentel Click 0.7 Twist Erase. And so I have these two which are the purple and the blue ones. And then I have these two black ones and they are different. I got them in different packs. They're just a little bit different. I think it's just that, that this part is clear and this part is more colored in. Um, the reason I have these two black ones instead of the other colors that I also have as backups is because I am sick and tired of people stealing my pens and my pencils. I let this guy during my chem midterm last year borrow one of my pencils and it was blue and blue is my favorite color and I let him borrow it. He never gave it back and I was so mad because these are good quality mechanical pencils. I used to use Ticonderoga pencils as well, um, the ones that you sharpen, but those would get pencil shavings everywhere and everything would get dirty and look kind of nasty and my hands would turn gray because of the pencil lead that was all over the pouch and the pencils and stuff. So I kind of stopped using those. I still have them for to use at home. Home. I just don't like to use them for school anymore so I highly recommend investing in higher quality mechanical pencils because it's totally worth it. it actually saves you money in the long run because there are some backup mechanical pencils I have that I've had for the past like three years and they're still going strong and I just reuse them I just have to fill up the eraser again and fill up with lead again so highly recommend that it saves you money in the long run good investment. We're getting down to the last few things here. So first I have a stapler, a mini stapler. You do not know how much people will love you if you have a mini stapler in your backpack. Everyone will want to be your best friend because if it's the day you have to turn in an essay, I'm telling you, there will be at least 10 people printing their essays that they just wrote in the computer lab and they will run around looking for a stapler. And your teacher will say, you better have it pre-stapled, and they will not have it pre-stapled, and you will be their lifesaver. It's true. You will be the hero of the world. I got this from Target, and it is from Swingline. So I recommend this. I love this color. I love it so much. Highly recommend this stapler. It's really cute and fun and they come in a lot of different colors if you don't like this one. Then I recommend keeping a whiteout. Now I don't love using whiteout. I will admit I like it when everything is written properly without whiteout. Although whiteout does help you fix the mistake, you can still see the whiteout. It's not perfect anymore and so I don't love whiteout but it's better than ripping out a page in your notebook because there's messed up and better than just scribbling it out. I hate scribbling it out way more than I hate using whiteout so I'd rather use whiteout and can you see a theme? I love blue. Then I have an eraser and I don't know if this is good quality eraser but I decided to try it because it was really cute and it's this green UB eraser. It came with a pink one too, which we'll see in my part two. Oops, I spoiled it a little bit. I really, really like it. It's really, really cute. And I'm a sucker for cute school supplies. I can't help it. Then these are things I cannot live without. I'm not even kidding. In school, if I didn't have these, I would be gone. And these are the sticky tabs. And these are higher quality sticky tabs. I know they're more expensive. However, I recommend these more than the flimsy ones. These are kind of more, they're a little bit stiffer so they're hard to, they're harder to bend and they don't break as easily. I love these. I have the bigger ones and then the smaller ones and I just really recommend these. I like to sticky tab the books we read. I like to sticky tab our textbooks, my planner, just everything and I just can't not have these and I only like the higher quality ones. I do have some backups of the flimsy ones until I can go buy the higher quality ones again but I just I can't live without these. They're so good. Then I have some lead for my mechanical pencils. This is kind of self-explanatory. It came in with the packs I got of pencils and erasers and stuff. So it's 0.7 lead. Gotta have it in case you're 
mechanical pencil runs out of lead or if someone else's does again you'll be a lifesaver then I have a pair of scissors and then a baby glue you don't know when you're gonna need this you never know when you need scissors or glue I recommend even if you're in high school sometimes you need it and lastly we're coming to the end and I have this um, USB drive I've actually had this for a few years and it is 32 gigabytes so I recommend it. it's the SanDisk Ultra I saw a pack of like four of these or something at Costco or I'm sure they have it other places too but yeah it's worked for me always save your files on here always do it I recommend it you will need it and I recommend bringing one of these to school just in case like you can't print from your computer to the computer lab you put your file on this put it in the school computer print something out and that is what I keep in my pencil pouch for school I hope that helped you guys out a little bit or that you enjoyed it I definitely recommend investing in better quality school supplies because if you don't your things will break and you will have to spend more money to buy things that replace the thing that broke. So if you buy really good quality things in the beginning, they will pay off, I promise. So I will see you guys in my next video. It's time for my random fact. So as I said before, I've been asking you guys for questions for my random facts. So Cheery Beery asks, Coke or Pepsi? I feel very strongly about this. I do. This question for a lot of people is just like, eh, I can't taste the difference. No. Coke all the way. Pepsi has tiny little bubbles that attack your tongue and burn. They burn so badly. How can people not tell this? Like, sometimes people are like, oh, Pepsi. And I'm like, you must have a tongue of steel if you can handle Pepsi. I'll drink it if I have to, but I do not like it. Mm-mm. Nope. Coke all the way. Coke is delicious. So, <laughs> bet you guys didn't expect me to be that passionate about this, but yeah. So, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you in my next Back to School Supplies haul.